All right, so we are out prepping beds today. It is a beautiful day here in Michigan. And finally, finally, last couple weeks we've been able to get out, get started, and get some things done. So today, I'm prepping my beds. Um, see, I've gotten a few done, but I've got a bunch to go. I will not get them all done today, not by any stretch of the imagination. Probably another three or four beds, possibly. So I thought I would take you along and show you how I do it. Um, everybody does it just a little bit differently. I do try to keep it as simple as possible, um, so that's what we're going to do here. But now I'm going to go through and stirrup pull this. Um, I don't use a tilter. I'm not going to rototill it. I'm basically going to stirrup pull it, shovel out my pathway and rake it to shape it, and then I can add my compost and amendments on top of that and rake it smooth. It'll have a nice tilt. Um, and I just try to keep it as simple as possible and as few steps as possible when it comes to flipping my beds or prepping them at the beginning of the season. These beds all got tilled one time two, two years ago when I shaped the block of beds. Since then they haven't been tilled. Um, we tried to do a very minimum till um, as little disruption as possible. So, if they start to get a little bit hardened up, I will go through the broad fork, but I will actually I'll show you how I test that as well. It's very simple, and not all of the beds even need to be broad forked this season. So I'm looking forward to getting going, getting some more done. So let's do it. Simple old stirrup hole. It's starting to get warm out here. Alright, so we've got it all hoed out. And basically the purpose of that really is just to cultivate any small weeds, small grasses that are starting to come up and really loosen up the top couple inches of soil so we can add our compost and our amendments and plant in. So one trick I do have to see whether or not we need to broad fork it. And it'll, I'm gonna go over to this next bed that we already have done. <clears throat> so once we get everything raked out ready to go. What I like to do is just see how far I can reach down in there. If I can get in there real easily, we should be fine. So it does not feel like we've got a hard pan yet. Any veggies should be able to grow real good in there. So that bed is ready other than compost and amendments. Um, as you can see, we did with our carrot bed. That's already seeded, and we did the same exact process as we're doing over there. The only difference is, once we were done, we added our compost blend and our alfalfa meal and kelp meal. So, other than that, that's that's that. So, we're going to come back over here, bed number five, and we're going to get the edges shoveled up and get it raked out. So, I do run... When I'm shoveling my pathways, and I do not do that every year, I do it about every other year. But going into year three, this would be the time to do it. So I will run a string or a tape down the edge quick just to have a guide. It does not have to be perfect, and I'm not going to string the whole thing. That takes way too much time, but I will run, run one down the edge that I'm working to make sure that we can get a fairly straight pathways. Let's get at it.
All right, guys, that's that. That is how I shape my beds, how I prep my beds. Um, the only additional step I would do is broad forking if they needed it, but this one didn't. So, as you can see, it is all shaped out 30 inches wide by 50 foot long. My pathways are approximately 18 inches. And that gives us just enough room to comfortably walk and work in those aisles. So you can see we've got a nice finished bed. The only thing we'll add is our compost and amendments on top of this uh, before we plant out. So in the meantime, I think I'm gonna cover these five beds. I'm gonna add a little more water to my carrots. Um, I'll, I'll give it all a good watering and then I'll, I'm gonna cover it with my tarp and let my carrots germinate. So that is how we shape our beds here at Simplistic Farms. No fancy equipment, just a little bit of hard work and a couple simple tools and uh, can get the job done. So we do like to try to keep it as simple as possible. Not always easy as the name implies, but get out, enjoy the weather, get your gardens prepped. Hope that helped. Maybe you can apply that to how you get your beds ready this year. We'll see you on the next one.